Hi there, so this is my um, new SEMA X8C that I've uh, just bought a couple of weeks back. Um, as you can probably see, it's got a different landing gear on there. Uh, these ones come off a um, DJI Phantom and they directly fit onto the SEMA X8C. So there's no holes to drill or anything, they just fit straight onto it which is handy if you're going to put a camera and a gimbal underneath it possibly I haven't got a um, gimbal or anything but uh, it definitely makes it a lot more um, stable when you're coming to land I've found anyway uh, it's quite a stable quadcopter uh, in flight and definitely good for uh, taking videos and uh, it's just uh, quite good fun all round really. It's not a real fast flyer but um, it's reasonably fast. Uh, as you can see I've got an um, FPV camera up the top here. Which is a DIY one which I built myself. It's got a uh, very small, very small CCD camera. That was big as the Big as my thumb, a little bit smaller, and it's just got a um, 10 milliwatt transmitter on the back. Uh, and then I've used this piece of um, aluminium L bracket to uh, stick it to the um, quad. I just put a piece of double sided foam tape to hold it in place, and then wrap the cable tie around. And then I've just got this little Cloverleaf antenna on there. Yeah, this is this here is the um, 10 milliwatt transmitter, which I uh, just soldered up myself. And like a board camera, this one's slightly bigger than the one that's on there. But the one that's on there is uh, pretty good quality, actually. And then the other thing, I just bought one of these uh, clover leaf antennas and then just chopped the um, SMA connector off it and then soldered it directly to the board to make it. So yeah, and it works really well actually. Yeah. And then underneath, I've got a Banggood um, anti vibration platform and then I've got my uh, Hobby King um, wing cam attached to that it's just got um, I've put double sided um, foam tape on the actual quadcopter and then stuck that to the um, anti vibration platform and then wrapped the cable tie straight underneath and then just mounted the um, Hobby King wing cam onto the actual platform with the vibration dampeners in between and then wrapped a cable tie around it and with some double sided sticky tape in between so hopefully it won't come off in flight just got to cut that um, cable tie there yeah it seems to work well together uh, I still have the camera which came with it uh, it's not too bad but it seems like it's out of focus really um, I haven't really taken it apart and had a look at it to see whether it can be focused I think uh, some people on the internet have found that you can um, put a different lens on there, wider angled lens and possibly that may make make the focus better uh, it's not a very wide field of view anyway on this camera so and the quality is not um, brilliant it's supposed to be high definition at 720p but um, no it's not very good really but anyway I'll put my um, wing cam on here for the moment uh, I have got my um, SJ4000 but uh, I don't really feel like uh, putting that on there just at the moment.
until I've uh, tested it out properly. And I've also got a um, run cam HD coming in the post, so hopefully I'll put that on underneath there instead. Yeah, so quadcopter is uh, quite nice. I've had quite a few flights with it, and uh, with the two cameras mounted, I'm getting around about ten, to, between ten and twelve minutes uh, flight time. Uh, before I took the um, blade protectors off, I was getting a bit less. So yeah, taking the uh, blade protectors off has give it a little bit more um, time in the air. I think I was getting about um, eight minutes with the uh, with, um, blade protectors on there. So yeah, it's doing quite well really. Haven't had any problems with it so far. Uh, yeah, it's got good range. I've um, been out to over 200 metres with it and it works absolutely fine. No problem whatsoever. Yep, so. Uh, I'll, put a, I'll put links in the description to where I got these um, parts from just in case you're interested. Um, yeah, they're pretty si it's pretty simple to put the parts together. Uh, hopefully, I might do a um, tutorial on it. But, um, yeah. Also, the uh, other part of the system is the uh, FPV ground station, and I've built that into this camera case. And I've got a small uh, 4.3 inch um, uh, reversing camera LCD in here, and then the transmitters behind here also. And then I've got all my stuff in my in the box that I need. Got a 300 milliamp hour battery which uh, powers the small FPV camera. I just fit that on the back there, and just a small piece of solid tape to hold it on at the moment. And then also I've got my Another part of my uh, clover leaf antenna, which uh, just fits on the back here. I put a um, antenna extension onto the um, receiving unit, yep, so that will just fit on there like that. And then also, I've got the controller in here. And then there's my lithium ion battery pack for the LCD screen and the receiver. Uh, 13 amp hour. I uh, built this one myself. That means then I can That means then I can uh, power that and then plug the yeah, there we go. Uh, that's the uh, live feed from the uh, quadcopter camera. Yeah, it works uh, pretty well, especially outdoors. Uh, it's not quite so good in here. I've got some glare coming in from the uh, window behind. So, I did have a different antenna system which I was using before, which was uh, one of these... Uh, um, small antennas which comes uh, stock with um, like uh, 
trans uh, 5.8 gig transmitter antennas no receivers sorry and I found that they didn't go very far to be honest so I quickly ditched that idea and went for the clover leaf which uh, works a lot better but yeah seems to be working well hopefully next time I will get a uh, flight in so you can hopefully see what the video will be like Alright, so I'll see you next time. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.